Good morning, everybody. And this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So uh, we are flirting with the neckline of the double bottom we mentioned yesterday. Uh, we do have a solid crossover of the oscillators and they are pointing to the upside. So technically we're in an uptrend. Uh, we're above the moving averages. The so moving averages haven't crossed over on the 8th hour. It's been a bit uh, all over the place. But as I said yesterday, more than likely, uh, big move up pull back, big move up, pull back, and uh, we should get going. Now, earnings really kicks off. Well, it has kicked off already, but nothing really of any interest. Um, Thursday, Friday, and then Tuesday. Uh, I think Tuesday, well, Friday is quite a big day, but Tuesday is probably even bigger. So that's where we are at the moment. We do have CPI data today. So uh, we had German CPI data yesterday, which is based well what's the market's based everything on at the moment so anyway uh, two days ago we worried about interest rate heights and then two days later everything's fine so just a normal day in the market uh, so for me trend is up we're looking for opportunities to buy and uh, we shouldn't be getting ourselves bogged down by anything else we shouldn't actually be being bogged down by the, the noise just look for the structure, look for the opportunities. So just want to get these levels in. You can see there is a clear level here, which uh, we did reject yesterday and uh, then got going again. Oscillators are getting back to the upside into overbought area. Nothing to worry about just yet. We do have a cluster of chaos just above us. So um, you could expect some sort of a a rejection here uh, actually let's just use that tail there we'll just use this pin bar here it's probably the safest bet um, so that's the target at the moment when we look at it and uh, you know, remember double bottom here inside bar inside bar so quite a big double bottom but you want to get past it probably test whatever uh, stopped us last week and then come back find support and that's when you've got a Fairly decent swing trade setting up. Uh, moving down to the hour, which is what obviously we want to be playing with. And uh, yesterday was a typical day when moving averages cross over, uh, above, below, and then sort of keep trying to test it. But you can see how the buyers keep coming in with a tail here. Uh, nothing really uh, unique about that. That's if you just go back in time. Every time you've changed a direction, this is typically what happens whether it's on the top, you can see there it happened on the top and here it happened on the bottom. So it's just chaos while people are trying to keep it going. Uh, the, the bears would have been trying to keep it going, but the bulls were coming in uh, with other ideas. So for me right now, um, CPI is obviously going to impact us, so I'd be a little bit cautious up until CPI. Um, if it's a good print or as expected, then you can expect this to continue moving upwards just bear in mind you've got some resistance to the left here um, and if it's a negative print then we probably can plummet back down to test the lows of this double bottom uh, and that's basically just going to give us a range so the logic behind that would be quite simple bad cpi test because now everybody's going to be saying okay let's ignore the data let's see what the earnings what earnings tells us so that's kind of the situation we'll find ourselves in so down on the 15 minute which is obviously the time frame you want to be trading off uh, hindsight being the perfect science again you can see as i mentioned yesterday you know we started moving across we are in an uptrend so it could look either way and it got going to the upside if you have a look at the retest there's a retest and it's not of structure if you look to the left, it's not really off any decent structure. It's off the 155 EMA. And you can see there's another inside bar for 155 EMA and a little bit of structure there. There was an opportunity here for a long, um, and that was during the market open. So you can see what I mean by taking your profit quickly, hit the first level, came back, and then broke through, hit the second level, and then started coming back. So, uh, I'd be watching this area here. It's 4434, 4435 um, as a starters. And as I say, pay attention to the CPI data because I suspect to get through 
this level of 42, uh, sorry, 4450 is not going to be an easy task. So I'd be a little bit cautious by jumping in long here. I want to see a pullback and I'd want to see that after the data, not before the data and during the data because it's going to be quite volatile being CPI. Anyway, that's it for me today. Hope it helps and uh, don't forget to drop us a comment or a like down there and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.